Here's ground zero. There's a tree here with a smiley face. At this ground zero, spread out from the stump here to the rocks there to the double trunk tree over there, we have an ammo can. This is on the cash page as a mystery because it's part of a geo art. Regular, two and a half difficulty, three terrain. Let's show you the three close ups right now. Location number one. From the tree with the smiley face here at ground zero. Turn left. And you see a tree stump. Walk over towards that tree stump. Come on in. And right here, at location number one, you have the tree that fell off the stump. You have a branch. Move the branch, reveal your ammo can. Could location number one be the correct geocache location? From the tree with the smiley face at ground zero, do you head to the right? Come over this way. And you see a double trunk tree with a number. You come over, avoid as much of the briar patch as possible. And when you get here, you see bark. Well, if you move the bark and take it off, here's an ammo can down behind it, wedged in between the trees. Could location number two be the correct geocache location? Location number three, from the tree with the smiley face. Walk on over. Come on in. This time, we have a rock pile. Do you come over? Do you come to the rocks here at number three? Move this and reveal an ammo can? Could number three be the correct geocache location? Well, guess it's time to find out. Okay, everyone. Seeing what we went through to get to ground zero. You've seen three spots where we looked? Or did we look at others? Hmm. Possibility. Maybe it's on the other side of the trail. Could be. Maybe we filmed the wrong side of the trail for you. That will make it zero. That's okay, right? That's okay. So, zero. With that being said, where do you think it is? With the uh, ground zero being spread out really wide, we decided to go with the pictures above. So, what do you think? If you came here for a second time, because this is the second geo art that used this as a final. Yeah, so if this looks familiar, there's a reason. Yep. We're even sitting on the same log where yeah. we wrapped the other video up. Deja vu. Uh-huh. I think we're facing that way. But, uh... That was over two years ago. Hard so, to, hard to believe. go back and watch that video too. Way, way back. Way, way back. I know, right? How geocaching brings you to new places mm -hmm. and some of the same places. Mm -hmm. Well, you had plenty enough time to figure out your answer. You want to get rid of one of them? That it's not right? Zero? It's not zero. Wow. Okay. So it's over here somewhere. Removing the hard one off the table. So now, I'm going to get rid of, I like them all, but I like two other, I like two of them more than I like number two. Yeah. Number two, wedged in between two trees with bark. Nope. Not it. Yeah. Nice gust of winds comes by. Yep, blows the bark, 
Or you come in from the other side and you see the ammo can just sitting there. True. Now, we're going to tell you the answer. You ready? We'll tell you right after these words. Oh, hey. I was looking for a cash, but it's not here. But while you're here, let me tell you about the giveaway that's going on for this month. Real simple. Go to the beginning of the month and look for the giveaway video. Clearly marked. Watch the video, take your best guess, and get entered today. Veterans sometimes have a hard time opening up. But well, you can help them change that today. Let them know about MakeTheConnection.net. Now it's that time. The winning location. Where are you going to find this ammo can? I know you all have it right. You're getting better at the challenges, I believe. But, leave your answer in the comments before we tell you. Want to do the honors? Well, you think it is one or two? Well, one's right here off the side of the trail. So. Hey, look. Uh oh. My first tick today. Oh, geez. Here we go. Ah, that really ticks me off. <laughs> Get it? Because I pulled the tick off. He was crawling. He didn't bite. We're good. Before we get more ticks, why don't we tell him? A little bit of a tricky walk in so you don't get all sliced and diced. Make sure you step on the briars instead of walking through them. And then, since we knew the area, quick find for us. Mm -hmm. Today, we went and we grabbed the final for a heart geoart which was made as a memory to the cash owner's wife recently passing away at the beginning of 2021. Rest in peace. Our condolences for your loss. Um, it's never easy losing a loved one. But thank you for putting out a geo art and letting us all remember who she was. And thank you for the information on the cash page for the uh, first, for number one, to the geo art, and telling us a little bit about the story. It was, a heart, it was heartwarming to read that from the cash owner, you know, and like I said, it, it's, it's tough. It, it's tough to lose a loved one. Well, we all, as a team, grabbed all the geocaches that were on the side of the DNL trail. Today, for the final, only me and the muggle could get together today. We came back and we grabbed the final cache that we needed for the geo art, which also happened to be the final, which is an ammo can. So, with that being said, we made the walk, we had some fun, we got cut up, got some new slices for our work tomorrow. Yep, I lucked out, I think. Yeah, I kicked one in the back of my leg. So uh, I think we're done here. That's it. We're going to go grab another cache today. We're just not sure which one. Hmm. But you'll see that on a future episode of the GeoSense Challenge. And as always, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Happy trails. Happy caching. Go get a smile. See you next time.